everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hi, I hope you're having a fun day today. Um, today, I thought I'd take you along to decorate a journal that I'm currently working on. I get this question asked a lot if you can see me do the process of the decorating of the junk journal. And what I have done is I pulled some items, some ephemera items, that's old, interesting papers, some of the handmade embellishments that we've made together on some of these videos. I don't know if that is mine. Nope. Okay. And uh, I have a whole bunch of these things here. And I also wanted to, oh, if you don't know, I'm having a February fundle special. You get a triple bonus special. You buy a fundle in February of 2023 and you will automatically receive a Victorian trade card, a Victorian calling card, and a beautiful Gothic textbook page from 1798. Yes, that is 225 years old. Automatically included with your fundle and you don't need a code or a coupon and you can purchase that in my Etsy shop. Many of you are taking advantage of that. So um, thank you for your purchases and we carry on to today's project. I thought, um, okay, so we're working with this journal. Just, just if you haven't seen it yet, this is a this is a fabric covered journal and it has four signatures, okay? And um, I'm just gonna be using some items here. I also want to show you this. I don't know if I've shown you this before. This is a very, very old document. It's handwritten. I'm gonna try and zoom in on it so you can see it a little better without the glare. But it is, uh, I believe, from the 1700s, uh, if I remember correctly. I'm sure I have it written down somewhere, but it's just a really, really neat old document. A lot of times these things are legal papers, land documents. Uh, everything was written out by hand then. And um, this is one of the very first old ones I bought, and I've always saved it because I thought it was an interesting memento. And if they, you know, do a little unusual thing, I mean, that's an interesting way of writing that there. I don't know if it's Italian or what. Does anybody recognize? It's probably Latin. Could be Latin, right? Any, anybody? <laughs> anyway, could be Latin, could be Greek, could be Italian. I'm not sure. But... Um, I thought we would go ahead and just do some basic decorating. Let me back up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to pop into the first signature, and I'm just going to pick a place, maybe something first in. I'm going to do the back half because I think my back halves, my back halves are more naked than my front halves. Here is a, I don't know if, you're, if you saw this video, but these cards do this. It lends some writing space here and on the back there if you want to do that, but it has its own little secret envelope uh, that it can tuck into. And I think with this, honestly, I think I'm just going to clip that onto a page because I want to keep it removable. But I would like to have a little background color going on here. And maybe I'm going to take the worn lipstick and looking for my pink brush. This is a makeup paddle brush. I'm gonna do this in a very loose, nondescript sort of way, and just put some, there's probably different colors on here, that's why I'm getting more of a brownie, um, uh, pink color, not a true pink. Um, I guess one lipstick is a little bit of a coral pink. Well, let's just see a little bit here around the world. You don't have to do every part of a stencil, you can just do some of it. See, it just gives you a really nice shadowing effect. And if you want to go ahead and Accent it up a little bit more. You could take your old regular dauber and uh, just do the edges a little bit to give it that old world rustic grungy sort of look. There we go. Okay, so now I've I've given it some design. I've brought in the edges a little bit. <clears throat> and next, I'm just going to pop this baby on there. Let me grab a decorated paper clip. Okay, I seem to have used up a lot of my decorated paper clips. That goes through them pretty fast around here. So I'm always making them on the craft jets on Friday. But I've got a few left over. And then this one, that one's kind of pretty. It is a little paper clip on the back. And let's see if I can put it here. I might need a longer one than that, maybe. I'm not sure. I got a, I've got a few possibilities here. I've got a little tiny collection. That would be cute, too. This is a, a tea bag. And green tea. Let's see if I can get this on here. That would be make it upside down. I can't do that one. This one will work though, because the little loop is going the right way in the altered paper clip, and that's the way these things go sometimes. Sometimes you gotta give them a try. 
there we go. So that page is done. All right, let's go to the second signature. And where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I don't even know where I'm in my own book. Come back here. All right, how about how about here? This is kind of nice and neutral. Maybe we'll do, do a little neutral stuff. Oh, this is pretty. I love this old writing. Call me crazy, but old writing from 1916 is just so pretty. And the paper feels so good. I just think it's really neat. Um, maybe we have something here we can make into a pocket. Like a, oh, this is kind of cool. That's sort of different. Oh, we have this, too. Oh, oh, man, wait a minute here. Okay, so maybe this is a two-page letter. Look how cool that is. <clears throat> the different writing and everything on there. Very neat. Okay, I think I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to have to fold it, but I think it's going to be <clears throat> okay with me folding it. Um, still dealing with the raspy voice a little bit. I feel fine. Lots of energy, just <clears throat> raspy voice. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm going to place this here, and maybe, just maybe, this one might be a wraparound. That would be kind of fun, right? Do something like that. And I'm going to translate it north a little bit. Let me shrink it down so you can see just a little better. Okay. Um, so the piece that sticks out is on the top. And here is a cluster with a, it's a real dried petal there. That was fun. I vaguely remember making that. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to put that there. Okay. So you could put something behind here if you want. Maybe I will. Um, let me get some word stamps, like that. some, uh, not word, but um, sayings and things like that. Where are you? I know I have, here you are. Okay. Script is also really pretty to work with in your dark journals. So yeah, maybe actually I'll do that because I think that's going to mirror that script. So I'm just going to take random, I've got a bunch of these. Oh, lost the page. Where'd it go? Second signature. Wasn't it pink? Or was it, it was this one. Okay, so I'm going to put some black ink on here. I'm going to use good old Black soot. Yep, good old black soot. Not being too particular about where I put this. I just, uh, just want... Um, okay, so it's going to show over here. It's okay even if it goes on the other page. That's all right. Actually, that's kind of cool. And I think I have the writing upside down. Oh, well. Um, but it's, it's not really legible writing. It's just sort of there. Yeah, maybe I'll just have it go down like that. That's kind of cool, right? There's a different look right down the spine. And then we're going to put this here. Do the wrap around. Put that on there. There we go. Yeah. All right. And then maybe let's move along to the uh, the third signature. This this one has four signatures total. That's pretty. It's a stenciled page. We could do something there. Okay. So this was made from the spine of a book page. I just cut apart the interesting parts in the spine and glued them to this piece of old book page that was in um, uh, the back or the front of a book. I love those papers. They're, they from the old books, they generally have an interesting feel, an interesting texture, and um, they're kind of cool. Okay, so let's, let's cut this here so it's going to fit. Maybe we'll make a belly band and get our, what's that, black or brown? I think that's the black. Maybe we're going to grab the brown this time. I've got black here, so maybe we're going to put brown here. Just have a little... Oh, that was my brown dauber. Oh, no, this is brown, right? Yes, okay, no, everything is well. Everything is fine. Okay. And you can reinforce these papers if they're not strong enough, that they feel like they're going to break or crumble. Just put another piece of uh, copy paper or printer paper or cardstock or something like that to give it a little extra strength. Just glue them together, and you're off and running. It's... Pretty easy to fix. Okay, so I put that there. And then we're going to put something in it. I do, I have some more handwritten letters. These are kind of cool. Maybe this would go nicely inside. If I could get that to snuggle together, I can get that in here. Yeah, okay, that's going to work. All right, now we have to grab the Fabrifix glue. Well, I hope you're flowing today. Let's see. Are you flowing? Oh yeah, you're flowing. 
You never know. Sometimes it flows. Sometimes you got to go get the, the pin and free it up. But today, today all is well and everything is good. And uh, sunshine is uh, absolutely doing marvelously. <clears throat> my little apple pie jelly bean love of my life. Okay, there we go. Now, you really should wait for that to dry, but I'm showing you for um, video purposes. Because otherwise, these things can get stuck, and that's sometimes not desirable if you're making things. <clears throat> okay, I think I might do a little bit of decoration down this area because I just want a little bit of something. I'm going to grab a random peg stamp. You can use any, any stamp or sticker or piece of washi tape. I'm just going to give a little border here. So we got something going down. A little something for the eye to look at, a little balance. And um, there you go. Okay. And I can also do... I might do more or less with these pages. I'm not sure. Sometimes I'll decorate them initially. And then I'll go back again to see if I want to add any extra little things. Sometimes the second wave through I'll add bling buttons, threads, um, things like that to increase the eye appeal, depending on how the, the page hits me when I'm looking through. Right now that is good, um, and I don't have to wait for any external glue to die, so it's easy to carry on. So we're going into the last signature, number four, and one of the last page. Oh, I don't have anything in here. But something. Okay, I have some fun things. This is pretty. This is another one of these. Oh, I have some other things over here. Wait a minute. Let's just see what we have. We have fun things. Lots of fun things to play with. Um, looks like we made some just be oh here's a here's an old postcard. That would be neat. Yeah. That's really cool. From Nogent Sur Seine, Le Pont Saint Nicholas. That's in France somewhere, the Seine, I believe. So there you go. I'm just gonna put that there. Maybe I'll put something behind it here. That would be fun. Where's those word stamps? Um, those, I have these dictionary definitions that are in what, this is for the dictionary definition, definition of the word letter, and, um, okay, okay, here we go, just going to put it down there, hope for the best, that's right, hope for the best, okay, there we go. So there it is. It's in there. It's pretty easy to do. And they might have a little surprise to check out when they go through, which is fine. Okay, so now we're going back to the beginning. Here we go. Back in the beginning. And I'm just going to sort of maybe go through the front of each signature and see if there's an area. Where I'd like to put a little something. Okay, we got a blank page here. Let's do something with that. And I have these little very simple pieces of copy paper that had been ink dyed or coffee stained or here's some uh, graph paper but I did, just did some basic little rubber stamping on them. I think I had a whole sheet and then I rubber stamped all over it and then I just cut them up at, for fun. So I think maybe I'll make a little... Oh, we got Ronnie next door, the little dog, and Sunshine has now heard him. There will be uh, all sorts of things going on. Mayhem will, will now ensue. Here we go with the mayhem. Yes, yes. Little Snuffers is... Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Oh, I've never done this before. Let me try this. Um, okay, do a little corner thing. I'm going to do a double, a double... I could do pockets. I could do... Um, well, let's do pockets, maybe. Pockets might be fun, because I wasn't doing pockets. Okay. Um, I'm going to do U-shaped pockets. So the, the things will insert this way, this way, and this way. Okay, so where's the glue? Ugh. The voice sounds worse than it feels, so just know that. I sound like a smoky barroom singer or something. But um, actually, I think I'm coming out of it. It's slow. The, I talk too much. Okay, who are we kidding? That's the problem. Um, can't shut this yapper up. But we're, we're, we're going to have fun anyway. Uh, so I'm talking a little more softly. Hope that's okay. And then I'll be quiet the rest of the night. I promise. Not a peep. Not a peep. Yep. Nope. Okay, so here this is going down. So I'm making my little pockets. And this is only copy paper, but it's going to be a very nice little pocket. 
anyway. It's strong enough. And I'll just put something very light and thin in here, like maybe a ticket or a sticker. Maybe put some stickers in here and give uh, the recipient of this journal something to play with. Yeah, or maybe some old postage stamps. Just fun little things. I think a sticker might be easier to get in and out of there. Let me, I'll go ferret around in my sticker bucket. Let me see what I can find. Okay, there we go. We got that down. Hang on. Okay, I found these cute little stickers, and I thought they might be fun to tuck in there. They're thin. They're, let's see, how can we cut these apart so I get them. Ah, it's hard to cut apart. Okay, that's all right. We'll just go for a couple. Let's do these two. Maybe if I cut them apart in sections. Um, so you can maybe tuck something. Oop, I lost it. Come back here. Can't pick can't pick it up. Okay, maybe I put a little tab on it so it's easier to grab. Maybe it'll be a little uh, string or a ribbon or something like that. What do I got? What's this? This looks extremely handy at the moment. Nope, I want a different color. That was neutral, but something is saying grab some pink ribbon. And I, I do have pink ribbon. Let me grab, I'm, over, I'm right over here. No, I'm grabbing the pink ribbon. Okay, this is sort of pink. Okay, that's definitely pink. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> I got a little bit of sorry silk. I think that might be pretty. Oh, and I think I want to do a little little sorry silk page trim down here. I think that would look pretty on the other side. Um, yeah, you can always do little side page trims, which just looks so cute. They give a little bit of a, an accent um, finishing touch for this side. Let's go ahead and just pop this off. Got to pop it off. All right, and I'm going to put it a little bit in from the edge of the page. Just because you can place it anywhere, actually, but I think I'm going to put it just a little bit in on this particular one. And uh, now I think I'll make a few little. Let's see how am I going to tick this in there like that. Oh, this would actually look nice coming out of there, too. Let me see if I can cut these up. <clears throat> I might have to cut them up individually. Maybe I need to make a little pocket. Well, that is a little pocket, but a removable. Maybe I have a little bag or something. Okay, let me just individualize these a little bit. They're bugging me all together. They're, they're not, they're not, I, I wanted to get them in groups, but that's not happening. So we'll make pretty shapes out of some stickers. Prettier than that. Okay. And around we go. Oop. Okay. And that's that. That's that. Okay. Almost there, just rounding them up a little bit with my horrendous fussy cutting. Never mastered that skill. Some of you are awesome. Way to go. Um, I think it takes a special skill to fussy cut well. It's not in my repertoire. But I do my darndest, and you don't have to be an excellent fussy cutter to make junk journal stuff. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, these, 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 okay, I think I got something here. All right, now you, oh, little pieces. You can probably go in there. I think that's okay, actually. Yeah, that shows them there's something there. Here's this one I should finish up. And, oh, I just had an idea. You know what I can do? Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Let's see what we got hanging out here on the table. I like to use what I have in front of me and try and think about different ways to use it in a junk journal. And let's see what we come up with. Like maybe, maybe I have a green one. Maybe this guy can go in here, but he could have some stickers stuck to him. How about that? That would be kind of fun. Let's try that. Never did that before. Um, okay, let's just put you on there. They can still peel the sticker off. Um, 
because the sticker is removable. Okay. I'm going to put one more down here. There are different ways you can use these things, you know? All right, let's put you in there. You're going to be big enough to stand out. And we are very big enough to stand out. You may be a little too big. Maybe we'll put you sideways. Nope, you're too big. All right, we're going to put you down. No, we're going to fold you in half. That's what we're going to do. Now you're going to fit. There we go. Oh, I could make it flap like this. So there we go. Now, okay, now we're talking. We have a new thing. You, maybe we'll just ink you up a little bit so you stand out. So I'll make like sort of different little things for each pocket, but related. And that way they can have a little fun explore time here. Like what on earth does this strange woman put in this book that we are now discovering? Okay. We, oh, what do I have? I have a pink one. I don't need to. I could put it in here. Yeah. Okay. So let's put some more stickers on this guy. Here we go. Let's put them down. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. You just sort of do it. And then you look back and you say, hey, that wasn't so bad. That was pretty easy, actually. And Look, I had some fun making that, doing that. Look at us go. There's so many things you can do to a junk journal page. I mean, really, there's no, there's no limit on anything. You just keep having fun. Okay, so let's, oh, now I want to fold that in half. My fun just came screeching to a screeching halt. So I put that there. That's not a good idea. So I'm going to fold it. I can put you there. Put you there now. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the glue that is here. And if you catch it before it's dry, you sometimes yeah, you can roll it off. That's what we're going to do. We're going to roll it off. Okay, there we go. There we go. Saved. Folding. Let's see, maybe we'll do it with the one flower showing this time. Oh, this is recording. <laughs> um, that's always my biggest fear. Is it recording? There's nothing worse than doing a whole video and it never recorded or the voice never recorded. I think I'm going to need a little more glue there. Okay. Okay. And we'll put you in there. Glue you down. Mm-hmm. There. Hmm. Maybe I want to put one on the outside? Maybe. Maybe I'll put I'll be bold and just put this something right on the outside of this one. They can peel the sticker right up. That's very bold of me. Okay, let's try this again. I'm just getting a little oh, I should show you that. I'm just getting a little closer to the edge of the sticker. I'm not cutting the edge of the sticker because I want them to be able to um, peel it off the backing. Okay. Which way do these flowers go? Okay, good. So now we have a little interactive uh, page here, which is kind of fun. And um, I'm just going to ink around the edges a little bit, give it a little hewing with a little extra color. Maybe something down the center like this. Okay, and maybe I want something here. How about you? I don't that would be nice. How about just something like that? Okay. <clears throat> you're here. You're present. You're going to be used. There we go. So sometimes it's fun just to pull out a little bit of stuff and uh, go from there. All right. There. Okay. It's still a little long. Let me just do a little extra trimming. There we go. All right, got that page done. And we might have time for one more page. So this is how I decorate a junk journal. Um, it is easier if you have some stuff that's back stocked or back made. Made these the other day with some index cards and some ribbon. That might be fun to make a little pocket there. Let's do that. And we can tuck something cool inside of it. Maybe have an interesting piece of ephemera, or let's see, what do I have here? What do I have? Um, I do have another handwritten letter. Oh, dearest honeykins. 
Okay, love that. Love the way that starts. This is on a Wednesday night. I don't know the date on this one, but that's just got to be good. Must be pretty to watch the waves pound even if it is taking away the beach. Started to... Oh, this sounds like a love letter. That sounds really nice. I'm just going to tuck this in there. And oh, oh, always your little guy. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm going to pop that in there. And... I don't know, I have this little odd piece of paper I did something with. Maybe I'm going to give him like a corner. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to give him a... Nothing. I'm not going to use that at all. No, it's got to feel right. Um, I have this. This is cool. This is some real marbled paper from a ledger. And I just love this little corner. Ashland Avenue, Bennett Street, Good Broadway. Brown, okay. Oh, maybe I want to do something like that. It's, but this is kind of purple, that's sort of burgundy. Not driving with those colors. Let's see, maybe something simple like that. Bringing over the coffee dye color. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Or maybe just put it in the center on an angle. Throw everybody off. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I like to rotate things, um, make different shapes. The unexpected, you never know what you're going to find sort of thing. Or, or straight. Straight looks good, too. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. So, yeah, every, every page is a new canvas. And you get to try new things on each canvas. You can, you can be more predictable, or you can just kind of explore your way through. That would be fun, too. Um, yeah, that's good. I like that. Well, that was a fast page, so we'll carry on. We'll do another one. Actually, I think that would probably be pretty good today. So we did quite a few. We did one, two, four, five, six, I think. So, um, Sunshine, do you have anything to say? I, I, I'm not speaking very well today, but I'll try. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you can use your lower register. I have a lower register? Yes, you do. You don't always have to talk in falsetto. Falsetto? Falsetto? Yes. Okay, can you go a little lower? I can try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's a little shaky. Maybe we'll just roll with the falsetto. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, how was your day, my love? I missed you today, Mom. You were out and about doing things. Yes. Yes, I was out doing things, and I missed you, too. But did you have a nice rest? It was very restful, except... When the squirrel came by, and the Amazon came by, and Ronnie barked next door. But I was on it, like a trooper. Yeah, I had the whole place covered. Nobody was getting in. I was security dog extraordinaire. As you can see, the home is very safe and secure. And, um, what's that over there? We better check on that, Mom. Mom, what is that? It's my computer. I think you have emails to check, Mom. I think... I think maybe some people ordered the Fundal Special. You need to get hopping. Pack those orders. What? Pack the orders, Mom. Okay, all right, I'll pack the orders. No, they're already all set. We just have to put them in the, the, um, um, the envelopes, okay? Mom? Yes? Don't forget the triple bonus in the package, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. Mom had a little fiasco the other day. We think we rectified it all and fixed it, but that we won't let that happen again. No? No, no. You gotta be on top of things. Stay organized. Okay, I'm doing my best. Am I, am I keeping you from something? I, I might want to go to... Yep, I'm going for a nap right here on live TV. And I'm gone. Almost. And gone. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sunshine. I'll put you back down for your little nap ski. And there you go, folks. So, remember, there's a special going on. Um, February bundle, triple bonus, automatic Victorian trade card, calling card, and a $17.98 book page with any bundle purchase. If you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter. If you sign up for that, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, plus a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a checklist of supplies to keep your eyes open for, and a page list of ideas so when you face the da 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 blank page, you got somewhere to start. Very helpful. 
Okay. Also, I have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm, a new audio material, and then you're, you're going to find video podcasts all the time, every other day of the week on Spotify if you want to watch those. I also have an Etsy shop when journals and bundles and kits and, um, oh my, <laughs> is available. It will be available in my Etsy shop. Sometimes I do a big fanfare splash of a video, social media notifications. Sometimes I just slip things in there and put them up for sale. And I figure that way everybody's got a fair crack at finding and getting something. And um, mm, um, I also sell digi kits, which are printable downloads of images. Um, they come in, for example, birds, Victorian style, dragonflies, butterflies, celestial, Renoir, dogs, cats, you know, all, like there's, there's over 200 now, I think. So uh, there's lots to pick from. They're five pages each and you can print them out at home or if you don't want to print them out at home, but you still want them or you don't have a printer or you don't like to print, I will print them out for you in batches of 10 digi kits at a time. So all you need to do is buy the print and mail option, send me your list of the names of the 10 digi kits. I only need the first two or three words and I need you to send that list to my Etsy shop, my Etsy message, or to my email, which is pam at the and then, please, um, you don't need to buy each individual DigiKit in that regard. You just buy the print and mail option, and that will be sent with free priority mail shipping to you. I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here, I try and put links in there. That does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items. I have a t-shirt shop. And uh, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, then... You can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And um, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group. Come on, it's the Paper Outpost Facebook group. Come on over and um, uh, try some of the weekly or monthly challenges or just uh, post what you're making from these videos. We'd love to see them. It's a very inspirational place. I get ideas from there all the time. Thank you very much for everybody who's posting and interacting. You're also welcome to just lurk. And remember most of all that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandonment, everybody. Just go out there and make a junk journal today. Take care. Bye.